Hello everyone. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a three-point edit using Adobe Premiere Pro CS 5.5. As you can see here I've got Premiere Pro open and in my project panel I've got three videos and a sequence that I've created. Um, and in my timeline panel down here in the main sequence I've got two video clips. Now these videos were filmed for my GoPro Hero 3 Black Edition um, that's 1080p 30 frames a second. Uh, we were out in Wolf State Lake Forest last weekend and was able to get some good footage. So the first thing you want to do, well, before we get started with how to make the three-point edit, what is a three-point edit? A three-point edit is used, well, it's an editing technique used for inserting a clip from the source monitor directly into your timeline. Now, the way we want to do that, there's a couple different ways we can do it, but for this tutorial, I'll show you the easiest way. Um, first thing I'm going to do is, I've got my clips lined up here, and I'm going to just scroll over to my second clip, because this is where I want to make the actual edit. Now in this clip, we're out overlooking the lake, and uh, the host of the show is Nick, and he's standing on this rock, you know, giving a little bit of a overview of what we're seeing here. And above us, a couple birds decide to fly over. So as he mentions that, I'd like to insert the clip that I have of these birds, here in my source monitor, uh, flying over us onto the section where he actually talks about it. Um, you know, so the first thing I want to do is I don't want anything to happen to the audio. I want him and his uh, voice, basically, or the audio sample, to continue to play even though the video has changed. So I'm going to scroll over to about here, says so about the 30 second mark is where it starts or where I would like to make a, the first edit and I'm gonna press I on my keyboard and what that does is it inserts an endpoint on the timeline so the first step is to make your endpoint on the timeline and this is where I would like the clip to go now the next thing I want to do is I'm just gonna scroll over from about 30 seconds and uh, where the clip begins and let's say he talks about it for maybe about three or four seconds so I'm just gonna bring this down to about 34 seconds or about well 35 seconds sounds about right so when the camera starts moving and that's where I want the clip to end so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna come up here to my source monitor and I'm actually going to tighten this up a little bit. As you can see the total length of this clip is about 15 seconds and I want it to be about 5 seconds long. So I'm going to set an endpoint at the beginning the 0, 0 and then you can either scroll through to about 5 seconds which should be right about there. You can just click on the time itself and set the time which is probably easier the next thing I want to do is set the out point. So the first step was setting the endpoint in the main timeline here where I want the video to be inserted at to start anyways and then the next step would be to set the in and out points in the source monitor. It's a three point edit so we're using three points basically. You have your three two ins and one out. And you can do the same where you're setting the in and out point on the timeline and then setting just the endpoint on the source monitor it works the same. Um, so the next thing I want to do is come over to this icon in between the camera and the insert icon and it when you hover over it the tooltip tells you that it says overwrite. I want to click that and it's going to insert this clip from the source monitor, this five second clip down here into my main timeline. So now when he starts to talk about the birds and points to it, the clip plays. So. Now the one thing we did forget to do is we did forget to lock the audio track. Now it doesn't appear that it happened in this clip but when you're doing this if you have audio and video from your source monitor it's going to take both the audio and the video. So if you don't want the audio to change or any other tracks, audio tracks or video tracks to be affected you want to make sure you toggle the track lock down in the main timeline. And that's it for making your three point edit. You set your endpoint in the main timeline you set your in and out points in the source monitor, and then you select the overwrite icon, and there you have it. Thanks for watching.